The brake caliper came in right here, uh, so as you can see, it has a little nozzle here where I can attach the uh, um, brake uh, hose to go to a remote reservoir, um, and then it has the banjo bolt here on the side, and then these two bolts right here is what I'm, what I'm using to uh, to mock up and fabricate my bracket. Um, so it'll mount like this underneath the bike. I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, I'm working currently to. Uh, fabricated bracket, as you can see, I got the holes in for this. Uh, working on getting it uh, rounded out and everything, and then I'm gonna uh, work on fabricating the holes for the uh, attachment on the bike. So, uh, to kind of show you what I'm thinking, um, I am going to mount it. I'm going to mount it on the uh, primary. So, set you up right here, and I'll kind of explain to you. All right, so here's a foot peg. Here's a primary cover right here. Uh, so I'm gonna use um, this mount right here and then uh, this mount right here to basically, uh, uh, the screws right here to mount this up right underneath here like this. So I had to file this down right here on the brake caliper to get it to fit. And then now it fits on just like this right here. So here is the foot peg here. So essentially I'm going to have it mount right underneath here like this. So that way when I press in, it's just going to um, press in just like that, right? So uh, it's gonna mount right underneath here. And uh, yeah, this is kind of how I have it kind of set up right there. Uh, or I'm thinking about having it set up and then I'm gonna have the hose here uh, for the, res the remote reservoir run and I'm gonna mount it somewhere else up on the bike Anyway, so uh, that's kind of what I'm working on so I'll set you up as I do all the grinding and uh, cutting and stuff like that and I'll do some welding um, But Basically, I'm just trying to work to get the brake caliper mounted or mount bracket made uh, So that way I can actually test it um, once I get all the other uh, so I can test it before I get the uh, uh, other parts in for the bike in order to get the right side shift back. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna just get back to, to making some brackets. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? All right, so um, got the mount fabricated finally uh, for the brake, and I put some chrome paint on it. Not great chrome paint, but it's something. Um, here's the brake linkage. Sorry, the brake side lever that I had to modify. Uh, so as you can see, the regular chrome and then the painted on chrome. Uh, it's really noticeable in the daylight and the light here. So like, it's not great, but. It's something until I can like afford to get it re-chromed. So uh, I'm going to show you kind of how the mount works and how I got the brakes to work. Um, and maybe this might be helpful uh, for anyone who you know has to do the same thing. So let me get it set up and I'll show you kind of how, how it's going to fit on there. All right, so we're here on the brake side. Um, and basically how it's going to work is the I bought extra long bolts. They go through. I just got them from uh, Home Depot. Um, to stick through like this and then um, put the foot control uh, bracket on here and then tighten it down. So then I made this bracket 
which I just traced this here on uh, on some metal, cut it out, and then I got some uh, square uh, pipe from Home Depot, and then put it across like this. So when I put these two washers on here, I'll be able to put these like that. So now that I got that mounted on here, take this. So what I did is I had extra metal from the black shifter uh, peg from the Dyna. Uh, I welded that on here, which obviously ruined the chrome, which caused me to have to, um, you know, repaint with that chrome paint. And then I cut the tab that was coming down off here, so that I had to repaint that as well. All right, so uh, basically that's kind of how I modified it, and. Uh, you can't really tell from a distance, but once you get up on it, you can see the paint, like I just said. Um, so then I'm going to slide this on right here. Alright, so then I'm just going to take this, paint it back. Alright, so now this line, this bracket here that I have up lines up with um, this here. So it's going to sit on this side of it like that. So i got to get smaller uh, bolts here, but that will just be a, another Home Depot trip for hardware. Like I do all the time. Um, Alright, so now it's on here. It's not super tightly mounted just because I need to get the right hardware, but um, it's on here. So then with the pin comes in, I have to bend this down a little bit, but it slides right through. And now when I press the brake lever, it, actu it actuates into the um, fork controls. So, or actually into the, uh, sorry, rear master cylinder. So, just like that. Um, it's not perfect, but, you know, it works. And uh, it's my solution, so. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna mount the rear reservoir, though. Um, it's because, look at it it has the uh, I had to put a remote reservoir on it I'm thinking I'm probably gonna mount it like somewhere like right here um, just make a little bracket that comes off of this piece it's like got extra room on the studs um, that come out here and then I'll just mount it somewhere like that that way it's a short little hose so yeah I'll get something decorative I'll figure something out but uh, I still need to get rear brake lines and get the uh, rear brake light you know all put in here and, and done and wired up. Uh, originally it had this one on it right here which has uh, threaded insert screws right there. Um, this one has a little bit wider so you can adjust it back and forth. The screw is also a little longer here so I cut that down and it came with this attachment on the, the top. So I just took the ones off of here, put it back there, uh, use the same pin and then I'll get the cotter pin and put it back in. So I couldn't use this one because the banjo bolt came out the side here like this and it would interfere with this as it moved down. It would hit this nut back here. So I had to get the same one, uh, but coming out the back side right here, so that way I can mount everything uh, down this way over here, and I'm gonna wrap it right underneath the foot controls and along the, uh, the bottom of the frame. So now what I have to do is mount this rear master cylinder right here, uh, cheap got off Amazon. And the way I've done that is I have fabricated another mount. And that mount is right here. So this mount is going to uh, attach to this uh, crankcase screw that's up here, uh, like so. And it's going to then um, bolt down. And then it's going to hold this rear master cylinder like this. And uh, then I'm going to route the... Uh, I think I'll buy another uh, clear hose here, but I got, I'm going to route it underneath um, and essentially down and, and connect back over here like that into the rear master cylinder. So that's how I'm going to do it. Uh, I have to paint that uh, bracket um, so it doesn't rust. And then I have to get some longer hose and tubing. And then also I have to figure out the wiring. Uh, so I have all the wires uh, sitting right over here. Uh, it's all sitting right over there, all long enough to reach. And you can see it's kind of a jumbled little mess. Uh, so I have to wire that in and everything. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get this bracket painted and I'll see y'all uh, once I got it all attached and, and together. So um, catch y'all in a second.
All right, so we're back. I got it painted up here. Um, it's the same metallic that I used in the other video uh, for the foot uh, foot control bracket for the sorry for the bracket for the brakes on the foot controls. Um, so yeah, got it here. Uh, let's get it on and uh, tighten down so that way I can mount the brake reservoir. And then in order to test the brake light switch, I have to bleed the brakes. Um, so that way, you know, I get the hydraulic pressure. Uh, to activate it and then I got to test which wire is which uh, solder them to uh, put heat shrink on them, solder them together all that kind of stuff so uh, yeah let's get into it I want to be the greatest everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this every day and I'm impatient hoping one day I blow up from the basement statement the top is so vacant I don't need shit that I think is amazing waiting for my day when I'm playing sold out shows are a thousand faces hey give me that crown get in my way and you'll be put down it ain't your place all this my town if I want that shit then I'll get it right now I'm losing it the noose if it's some loose shit a stupid myth you choose to live or choose to dip you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift oh. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign Alright, well there we go. So we got it mounted uh, right there And uh, I just need to go get the uh, hose to run from I just need the hose to run from there all the way over to the brake uh, rear mass cylinder So I have to go to the store and get that uh, once I do that, I will uh, uh, bleed the brakes. I'm not gonna film that. I'm just gonna bleed the brakes, and then uh, yeah, I gotta just test the wires. So what I'm gonna do is um, here are the two end wires right here. Here are these two wires right here that are connected all the way back over there. I'm just going to. Uh, Get all this connected, bleed the brakes, and then uh, touch these two wires to each of those. Actually, the brake, and see when the brake light comes on. Now I know which one connects to which one because they uh, made both uh, the wires the same color. They're both yellow, so yeah, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so I'll see y'all once I uh, figure all that out. All right, so I got it bled and uh, everything put on, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. Um, but first I'm going to start with the fact that it works. You can see the light here. Brake. And so we're good to go. Alright, so taking a look at it, I got a clear hose here uh, that runs all the way down into the brake caliper. Uh, and then I got everything tucked away underneath the primary going along all the way up the back just like before and here I got the reservoir mounted with uh, the fabricated mount from earlier and uh, yeah got everything kind of together the red and the purple match uh, the gas tank colors right there so yeah that's gonna do it for uh, the video today I hope this helps somebody get some ideas on how to do uh, some custom made for controls for an iron head uh, with left side brakes so yeah, if you like what we see here, you want to see more, please like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos on the channel, and uh, I'm going to try and start it. So, see y'all.